Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Hi guys, today what I'm going to show you is canning of raw chicken. I just got back from the store, they had a sale on chicken breast, so I picked up quite a few packages. And I cut the chicken breast into chunks. I placed them in my pint jars. No water, just, just the chicken. I have my lids boiling in a pot on the stove. I also have my canner filled with halfway with water. And for these pints, because my canner can fit eight jars, I'll cook them for 75 minutes on 15 pounds of pressure. So let me start cutting some more chicken and I'll show you how I put it in the pint jars. You can see the size of the chicken that I cut. I'll place it in my jar. You can use quarts if you like, but I'm just using pints because it's just basically the three of us here. So I'm not packing it down. It's about an inch, inch and a quarter head space. What I'm doing is taking the chicken breast and just clearing off the fat. like I'll cut a lot of this off. It takes about one and a quarter chicken breast that I can fit in the pint jars. So you don't put any liquid at all in the jars and I figured this chicken was on sale so that's why I picked up uh, quite a few packages. I figured I would can them because I have some chicken in the freezer. It was one and a half packages of chicken and the packages were a little over five pounds so it was about a five and a half pounds of chicken for these eight pint jars and it was on sale for $2.97 a pound. Okay, so now that my hands are all dirty and full of chicken, I'm going to wash them before I clean the jars and then put the lids on. I wanted to show you all the fat that I cut off the chicken before I wash my hands. I mean, you can see all this waste. So that's why I cleaned up the chicken breast before I put them in my pint jars. I have a clean rag. What I'm going to do is put some vinegar on top of my clean rag and then wipe the tops of the jars. You want to make sure that they're nice and clean before you put the lid on. And I had my lids boiling in a pot. You want to make sure it's cleaned all around and no chicken chunks are on it. And I can fit eight of these jars, the pint jars, in my canner. So for these eight pint jars, it'd be 75 minutes in the pressure canner under 15 pounds of weight. All right, I have them hand tight. So I'll put these eight pint jars in my pressure canner. I'll wait for the steam to come out where you put your weight. Wait for 10 minutes, then I'll put the 15 pound weight on top and then cook it for 
75 minutes. Okay, my cans are in the canner. There's eight of them. I left space between them. Then I locked my handles in place. I have my burner on high. Once the steam starts coming out of here, I'll wait 10 minutes and then I'll put the 15 pound weight on here. It's been 10 minutes. You can see, I don't know if you can see the steam coming out, but this sucked down. And this is 5, 10, 15 for the weight. So now I'll put that on. Now that I have a steady rock on my weight, I'm going to lower my heat between high and medium on my stove. Once you lower your heat, then you'll start your time for 75 minutes. Once the 75 minutes are up, you can turn your burner off. Wait before you take the weight off. Once the steam is kind of all out of the pressure canner, then you can take your weight off, open this up, and take your cans out. It's been 75 minutes, so now I'm going to turn my burner off. I'll wait for the pressure to come down a little bit before I take the weights off. Once I remove the pressure, then I'll take the cans out of the canner. I'll place them off to the side on the board that I have on my dining room table to cool down. And you want them to rest for at least 24 hours before you store them. You can see how hot these jars are, that it's still boiling inside. I hear the jars popping, so that's a good sign. You can see the liquid that it made in the chicken. I have seven of them because one jar broke. So the second batch will be coming out of the canner. So now I'll let these sit here until tomorrow. And then I'll put them away. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and Watch Me Can Chicken Breasts. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.